Ladies and gents, players and pimps, sorry for the late video. Been getting my butt whooped, taking kids to hospitals and all that type of stuff because been sick. Having a toddler, man, it's once a month, get sick. So working off of two hours of sleep, got some plays for you. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So this is the um update. Yesterday we got completely whooped on. Um, I tried to go hard and hit some bangers, and we got slapped. 10 unit L. That put us at 36.4 units up. Still has a hundred dollar better. You're up thirty six hundred dollars. So this is the deal. When you have had the type of success I had with NFL last year, 120 units. This year we up over 30. So, like, winning $100, $200 for me, that really does nothing for me, to be honest. But the problem is, when you have new people that sign up today, and if you try, don't hit the big one, it's like, oh, man, we lost some money. So, what I'm doing is adjusting the way I bet and won't show you guys all of my bets. And still, I will still do the things I do behind scenes, but what I'm going to start actively doing with NFL is just work on getting you guys some wins and just getting you guys some greens. So that's what we're working on today. So first we got the Ravens versus the Chargers. Who going to win? I really could care less. I'll, you know, your gut would say Ravens, but primetime game, I can see Lamar looking like he don't know what to do besides turn the ball over. So, you know, I don't I don't I don't know. I really don't care. Just make sure I win money and I'll be happy. So let's see what the people have their money on. 73% of people had money line on, or well, the percentage of bets on um the Ravens. 87% of the money is on the Ravens. 92% is on the spread because they got them to win by three. And, you know, majority of people is on the over. So looking at the odds of everything, they have it where it should be a high scoring game. For example, if you look at Justin Herbert, his over and under for passing yards is at two, what is that? 262. That is very high. That means he will be passing the ball a lot. Could be. They have Lamar Jackson, his over high also. I believe it's like at 250. It's a little bit lower, but it's, you know, decent. They got Henry to score a touchdown. So it's a bunch of different things. First one I like is the Chargers over on points. The problem is both of these teams haven't played good teams, in my opinion, in the last few games. So it's going to be the first judge to see because both of them basically have identical record. Both of them been playing bum ass teams. You know, they play Ravens played Pittsburgh and they lost. Bengals, trash team one. Denver, they had hidden trash team one. Cleveland, you lost a bum-ass Cleveland. Tampa, you beat bum Tampa with injured Tampa. Y'all beat the Bengals, Tennessee, Cleveland, New Orleans. So nobody really played. Like, is any of these teams a winning team? I don't think it's, uh, what's the Titans record? Three and eight. Like, so, so in the last five games, you didn't play a winning team, and the only winning team you played was Pittsburgh and Denver. I believe Denver won it. Yep, 7-5. and five. So you can take that how you want. But looking at what you call the last few games, 34 points, 27, 27, 26. So four games in a row, they went over this, and we know Baltimore Ravens' defense is trash. That's just what they are. So I like that, and we could keep on going. Next, we have the first half total. Every prime game, be prepared. Be prepared. I'm going to probably always take that first half under because it's always two bums fighting over a dollar in the first half. They're going to finally get interested in, in the second half. So take my money if you want to, but if y'all go over, that means we probably have a chance to hit other plays. Next, we got Henry. 50 rushing yards, DK 25 rushing, Ladd 25 receiving, and Lamar Jackson one pass and touchdown at minus 103. Derrick can reach a score touchdown, and Rashad Bateman 25 yards for plus 106. Lamar Jackson 175 passing yards, 
Herbert won a passing touchdown. Mark Andrews, two receptions, and Joshua Palmer, two receptions, plus 109. Simple plays win you some money. Early money we can get Derrick Henry under um, 21 rushing yards in the first quarter. It seems like a bad bet because fading Derrick Henry is not good because he can always go crazy. But if you look at it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games straight, he haven't won over 21 rushing yards. He had 20, 3, 8, last game 11. So analytic-wise, it's a good play. So I like it, minus 108. Next, we are doing some plays for just tenth of a unit. So ten to get you a hundred dollars. Passing touchdowns, two of them. You see what we have right here. The second one, we got more juice, more things. People, you have seen already. Ten dollars to get you one thirteen. Next one, ten to get you seventy three. Switching it up a little bit, so I'm adding more simple plays, but a little bit more risk to it. And then our 10 for 500 instead of going for 10 for 1,000. Watered it down a little bit, added some things that you already seen, and hoping we have a good game. Now with our receivers, we're going with Zay and Ladd to get over 100 yards. Lamar and Herbert, four touchdowns each. That would be historic. I would love that. That would be a great game. Andrews over under. Will over under. Five to get you 499. Henry. 100, Herbert, 150. Over, under, over, under. Five to get you, 722. With our touchdowns, we have three players, three touchdowns for $5. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. First and last. Two touchdowns right here, both of them. Next, you got first and last. First and last. First and last. First and last, everything, $5. And the last one, first and last, different variations. And our last ones is our boost plays because, you know, they give us free money. We got DraftKings, four of eight, two bums, fighting over a dollar, $10 get you two twenty two. Second version of two bums, fighting over a dollar, first half and be good. Second half, $10 to get you four ten. ESPN boost, a good game, 10 to get you 100 Football reset, free $10, so let's make it work. Gus and Likely, it over on Lamar Jackson and a Likely Yard, seeing to get you 290. First touchdown over here, we would go um, McConkey. Is it McConkey? McConkey. I believe I'm saying that wrong, but we'll see once the game comes start. Because nobody really would watch the Chargers, to be honest really don't um shout out to my old coach oh jim harbaugh and um blake Corm though 40 to get you 440 we have um a parlay club i'm gonna use it today why not go hard four players with three players three touchdowns and an over high scoring game 10 to get you 25 hundo first touchdown over here we're gonna go with um bait bateman 10 to get you 235 and the last one on MGM, 10 to get you 170. And this is just an even good game. And we will see how it go. Doing it this way, more than likely you should win more than you lose. Hopefully, we get, they give us a decent game. We should still be able to win some. So my philosophy, what I'm going to do is let Bobby and Tony and the other cappers run wild. And I just do all their wild stuff because it don't count towards our record. So, if you want the wild plays, sign up for the Patreon. Go and Tony and Bobby chat. And we also have, um, we're testing out Souls and Vortex right now. Try those because Bobby hit a big, I um, mean, um, Tony hit a big one yesterday. So, you want all the big stuff and crazy? You're going to have to get that from other cappers. My stuff will be a lot more watered down to just give you guys some consistent wins. And I'll just probably add some crazy stuff in the Patreon or something. In my community chat, see y'all soon. Got the game coming up. Let's win some money.